we have, oh, maybe not so connected. We have the Five of Pentacles. Temperance reversed. We've got Sagittarius there. Hmm. Maybe wanting more of a feeling of connectedness because it feels like they're not getting it right now. Seven of Swords reversed. <clears throat> hmm. And actually, when that came out, I was looking at it and reading it as the Seven of Wands in my head. So maybe a wishing, a longing, a desire for their Divine Masculine to stop being defensive, to drop their guard, to be authentic, to open up their heart space if they're not. And we've got Pisces here, we've got the Hanged Man reversed. The only card we have upright so far is this card of Lack, Five of Pentacles, wow. Okay, what else please? The Magician reversed, we've got Gemini there. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to put those back because that was quite a lot. I think though on top was the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, so not so great. Wow, if you're resonating with this as the Divine Feminine and this is your message today, I'm sorry, this kind of sucks. We'll see where we go. We might pull some advice cards actually um, for you. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You know what's really interesting, and I don't have any cards to back this up right now, but what I feel is that underneath actually the Divine Feminine Collective that I am channeling today is feeling pretty good, feeling pretty high vibrational. So even though there's a feeling of this Five of Pentacles lack, frustration, imbalance, um, so far maybe hopes that aren't being fulfilled going on in this reading, I think it might be limited to, isolated within this connection. It, it's like the Divine Feminine is not letting their feelings about this Twin Flame situation bleed into other areas of their life right now. So doing a pretty good job of um, categorizing, but in a healthy way. Okay, what else please? Going on with my Divine Feminine Collective, please. Queen of Wands reversed. We have Judgment, Scorpio, and we've got the Hermit, Virgo, reversed. Wow, okay. So for some Divine Feminines, it feels like there is a third party. There's another feminine energy and they're getting frustrated with the masculine because they're saying, stop lying. You've made a commitment to this other feminine um, person here, feminine uh, person energy, you know, it doesn't matter, man, woman, but there's another feminine energy. And it feels like this is someone the Divine Masculine has made some kind of a commitment to, whether it's in a romantic sense, it's a, maybe a familial connection work, whatever it is. And the Divine Feminine here is saying, stop lying, stop pretending that you're happy, that it's okay. Um, and also, you know, I'm getting frustrated waiting for you to make a change in this situation. So it could even be that at some point the Divine Masculine has expressed to the Divine Feminine, I'm not happy, I'm going to make a change. And the Divine Feminine has been waiting and waiting and waiting and the change hasn't happened. Um, in fact, it feels almost like at some point the Feminine was blocked out by the Masculine, whether it's energetically, emotionally, literally blocked in terms of a blocked phone number. Um, maybe the masculine pulled away in some way, so the feminine feels shut out with the Five of Pentacles. And as a result, here's this empowered energy I was feeling with judgment in the upright. It's like the Divine Feminine Collective I'm channeling today has made a decision that they don't want to be in a situation in which they feel powerless or like they're waiting or like they are one of two options or something like that you know and they're making a decision for themselves with judgment to to not hang about not wait anymore because this hanged man doesn't even look like someone is is choosing to be there because they're waiting for enlightenment you know it's like someone's been strung up um so the divine feminine is saying i'm not going to keep my life on pause or i'm not going to um i'm not going to sit here and wait for you to make a change that it seems like you're not making in the practical realm. With the Hermit reversed, the Divine Feminine is not keeping themselves hidden away. Um, so let's see a bit more, what does this mean? 
Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah, it's almost like, okay, I might not with the Magician reversed be able to influence the change I want within this connection to get my wish because I can't control you, you know, my Divine Masculine. I can only control me. But I am still empowered. I do still have a choice. Yeah, Ten of Swords reversed. So it's not that the feminine is saying, I'm moving on and I'm thrilled, I'm so happy, or I'm focusing on something else while I hold space for this. Yay! It's not great, it's painful, but it's almost like, well, what else am I going to do? You know, look, Six of Swords on the back. So even though the feminine is still looking to the masculine, saying, come on, make a change, I'm leaving the door open here, they're not sitting in the corner doing nothing, you know, they're actually keeping their life moving. Show me what's going on with the hermit, please. Ooh, the lovers. Okay, Gemini again. The Twin Flame card. Making a decision possibly about something. Let's see. Yeah, Three of Wands. Whoa, what's that that snuck out? Yeah, and Two of... What was that? Eh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Three of Wands, Two of Swords reversed. Um, yes, seeing something clearly, understanding, okay, I have to look forward. I have to continue to manifest things into my life. But it doesn't feel like they're saying, I'm giving up, I'm not interested, I'm walking away completely. Because there's this feeling in the middle that's central to this reading of, come on, masculine, make a choice, do something, take the action you said you were going to take. And we do have this Ten of Swords reverse. So it's not that the feminine's like, okay, done, bye. I'm, you know, I'm thrilled to be on my way. It's, it's I'm gonna have to keep living my life whilst I keep checking over at you and seeing are you making any progress. Let's have a look at this Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. For me, the Queen of Pentacles, you know, I'm looking at that person as being whoever the masculine is is giving to in a, a visible 3D sense, purely because pen, Pentacles is that grounded energy. Whereas the Queen of Wands feels more like there's a desire, there's a passion. Often I, I feel the Queen of Wands is that energy of someone who um maybe we haven't seen behind the scenes we haven't seen them you know um in their pajamas brushing their teeth when they're stressed out about i don't know fitting everything into their schedule that day or whatever it is we see them poised out and about looking really good smelling really good always seeming to be in a good mood you know um someone who feels just slightly out of reach um okay yeah so let's see look at that uh, ten of cups reversed with this queen of pentacles so i think the feminine is looking over at the masculine and saying yes you've made this commitment but you're not happy you're not balanced i know there's a frustration um i don't think it's that you're experiencing reciprocity here um it doesn't feel like there's a flow it feels maybe like this situation is stagnating and that could be because the feminine is looking and basically making assumptions based on what they're seeing and feeling whether they're correct or not or it could be that the masculine has actually expressed maybe even verbally to the feminine this is how i feel um okay let's look at the queen of wands the emperor in reverse aries energy and the divine masculine reversed yeah it's so like the feminine is saying i've identified you as my divine masculine and I have respect for you in this connection, but I've got to be honest, you're not really pulling your weight. The Emperor is showing up reversed. There's a strong feeling that the Divine Feminine is looking at the masculine and saying, I feel like you're being a bit of a fraud. I'm actually hearing the word fraud, but I feel like you're being a bit inauthentic, quite inauthentic, actually. I think you're more interested in how things look versus how things are. Um, I'm hearing the, the I'm hearing tripwire. So <laughs> I don't know if the feminine has said this to the masculine and it caused a big argument or something, or the feminine wants to say it to the masculine but knows it would not go down well. But it's almost like the feminine is looking at the masculine and saying it's all a show. It's like looking at um, a chicken or a hen's egg, and the masculine wants everyone to believe it's solid, whereas if you if you knock it, you know it's going to crack open. Um, and the feminine knows that, that it's not this like solid lump of material, that, that it's just the shell on the outside. And if you apply any degree of pressure, it will crack. And that's what's going on with this situation over here with the Queen of Pentacles, as far as the feminine is concerned, and with the masculine's projection of um, being in control of success. Um, I feel as well, maybe in some cases, the divine masculine could be older. 
um, then the Divine Feminine here, not necessarily more mature. Um, that's something I also feel quite strongly, again, probably channeling the perception of, of the Divine Feminine with this, but older in terms of years. Um, it could be a situation, whatever this is that we're looking at, if it's a different relationship, if it's a work situation, home, family, whatever, where this masculine maybe has been here for a long time, years, doing the same thing for years, and the feminine is wanting the masculine to break away from this now and make a change and getting frustrated because the masculine is maybe afraid to do this because of how much time has been invested or the reputation they've built within this situation showing up as the emperor um you know the expression throwing good money after bad it's almost like the feminine is is believing that the masculine is throwing good time after bad if that makes sense you know even if it's been 10 20 30 40 years or whatever investing whatever this is well do we want it to become 45 50 years you know i mean 40 is better than 50 even if 40 was sort of too much so i mean i know we're not in the side of the divine masculine yet but i do get a sense that there could be some of that going on like well i've already invested this much and i would be gutted to step away now when i knew at the time i should have stepped away but it's just like well we're just wasting more time more investment anyway we're getting slightly sidetracked with that we'll get there in a minute um okay so it does feel like there's disappointment, but a strength to this Divine Feminine Collective, they're doing what they need to do. It's not that they've shut down hope completely or that they have decided to pull away 100% from the Divine Masculine because they're still checking in. The Masculine is still at the core of this, this reading and the energy, but the Feminine's got good boundaries, basically, um, and understand where their power does lie. So it's a really good use of personal power. This is not a Divine Feminine who's banging their head against a brick wall. It's like they're looking and saying, okay, I don't have power here. I don't have the power of influence over the Divine Masculine, but I do have power in terms of what I do and how I show up. And I think there's been a decision not to be as open, as warm, as proactive, as giving as they used to, because that um, action wasn't really met in a reciprocated way and you know maybe it led to feelings of um frustration resentment even um feeling defeated at times forgetting that um you know they're showing up as a queen they're not a page they deserve lots and lots of respect you know um but not feeling that they were getting it from the masculine so yeah good use of personal power um what i'm going to do is actually pull the card of guidance and advice for the feminine and then We'll get some messages, see what the feminine would say to the masculine at this time. Okay, message for the divine feminine, please. Playfulness. I am a playful participant in life and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in medicine for a reason. That, <laughs> that lady really knows how to party. Okay, so yeah, maybe trying to inject a bit more um, playfulness. Um, okay, I... <laughs> I've cut the video. What happened was that I was, the playfulness card came out obviously that I just read. Then I started on this rambling story that I was trying to connect back to the reading. It wouldn't connect back. So I've spared you the pain of listening to that. But essentially my point was, if at this time there is something you are interested in trying, um, a new hobby maybe, this is a good time to go for it. If you're you know, speaking to you, if you are the Divine Feminine watching, um, or if there's a hobby you have started and it's not quite worked out, maybe um, approaching it from a different angle, not giving up completely, or just saying, you know what, I really thought this would be great, but it's not, let me do something else. So not forcing yourself to do something, whether it's a hobby or anything else, that um, is not resonating with you. Maybe you thought it was going to be joyful and playful and fun. Well, if it's not, it's not. You know, Give yourself permission just to move freely onto something else. Okay. <laughs> Right, so let's get some messages from the Divine Feminine to the Masculine. What did the Divine Feminine say 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is what is up with me today? Why am I speaking like this? Regret. I wish this never happened. Wow. Now this could pertain to lots of things, specific things within the connection. Um starting off in that five of pentacles, I wonder if sometimes the feminine thinks about this situation with the masculine and might even feel like, gosh, I wish we'd never met. I wish this hadn't even, you know, I wish I wasn't in this twin flame connection. Um, oh, wow. You know, that could be, that could be a secret truth that the feminine has never said to the masculine because it's quite, you know, maybe hard to hear that, but, um, mm. okay. We have ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection okay so perhaps the divine feminine has been doing some reflecting and we have irreplaceable the way you love can never be matched okay so looking at these two cards kind of softens the regret card so it could be that the divine feminine is thinking back about maybe one specific thing um maybe if there was some sort of um <clears throat> like a particular interaction conversation maybe argument even or an ending here like in um, a 3D sense, or well, the last time they saw the masculine thinking, you know what, my ego was triggered. I said or did some things I regret. Um, yeah, it could be that as well. The way you love can never be matched. Well, that I don't. I just don't think that can be talking completely about the 3D because um, it feels to me like this is a masculine who's pretty withdrawn in terms of practical effort and action. So maybe... This is strongly feeling the twin flame energetic connection here. Oh, okay. Another way I could look at this is I feel strongly connected to you in the 5D, vibrationally, energetically, the love we have. I just, I can't find that connection with anyone else. However, my 3D conscious self, my ego is so intensely dissatisfied with the lack that I'm experiencing right now. That sometimes I feel this regret, I feel this stress, I feel this strain. And with the Ten of Swords reverse, the pain of both being so tied and connected to you, but simultaneously feeling so neglected and distant and unseen. Ah, yeah, could be that. Okay, let's clear this away. Um, I'm going to have, well, go and get a drink and then we'll see what's going on with the Divine masculine and i'm gonna use all the same decks and why not just pull a, a guidance card as well okay okay so let's have a look spirit can we please see what is the current experience of the divine masculine within this twin flame connection can we have the highest and the best messages please Um, the number 424 could be relevant. Okay, let's see. Current experience of the Divine Masculine within this connection, please. I'm hearing the song, I think it's by Annie Lennox, Walking on Broken Glass. I don't think that's what it's called, but those are the lyrics from part of it um and with this ace of cups reversed hmm does the is the divine masculine feeling that something's been broken smashed almost like if you had a glass you know um and you dropped it on the floor a waste here missed opportunity let's keep going <clears throat> current experience of the divine masculine please within this connection Oh gosh, I have this really strong feeling. It keeps coming up. I've had it from the start. It keeps, and it's it's intruding as a thought in my head. I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I know you guys are here watching, but I've spoken before about how I know some people from my personal life watch my channel, you know, both the people that I, I've spoken to about it and people I know who are lurking in the background that I don't speak to about it. But I, I, there's someone new I've encountered. And the thing is, you only need to know my name to find my channel. Because most people these days, you find someone's name, you Google them, blah, blah, blah. And I just have this feeling that this new person who's entered my life might be watching my channel. And 
it keeps coming up um, and it's making me feel uncomfortable because I don't like that. I would rather they get to know me and not make assumptions by watching me at work, you know? Um, anyway, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I don't know if the divine the, the divine feminine is is very much watching the, the divine masculine and the divine masculine is feeling this or vice versa or it could be both because i've been feeling this throughout the reading um but as i would got to this four of swords knight of wands reversed it popped up again so so strongly as a thought and a visceral feeling in my body and with the four of swords knight of wands reversed it's almost the appearance of being passive doing nothing and holding back this inspired action. But the thing is, if we look at this Four of Swords, we can see this um, one sword down here is a different color. It's black, these are all purple, and it's on its own. It's very much like, it's a separate sword. It's like the Ace of Swords, you know, like we're gathering some kind of information, but in, in almost a passive kind of way, um, collecting information. So this could be, as I said, masculine doing it to feminine, vice versa, or both. But someone knows, someone's got the, someone's kind of aware of this. Someone has, someone has the feeling and, and maybe is feeling a bit uncomfortable about it. Let's keep going. Okay, judgment in the reverse, Scorpio. Queen of Wands. Wow, interesting. We had judgment here for the feminine, but in the upright. We have the Queen of Wands here, but in the reverse. Strength, Leo. And we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Two of, I don't know why I felt the need to turn the deck over, but we have the Two of Cups there reversed. Okay, so the Divine Masculine is feeling very much like this connection. Um, is very is very present definitely energetically vibrationally in the 5d but is in agreement with the divine feminine that there's not too much happening in the 3d in terms of equal effort showing up equal give and take forward movement i think there's more of a feeling of impatience here um to try and get something happening but the divine masculine is is trying to control themselves, contain themselves. Let's see why. Now, I mean, one thing I've got to say before I forget that's so interesting to me is from the Divine Masculine's perspective, we do not have a Queen of Pentacles. We just have a Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands is in the upright. So I feel like the Divine Feminine is feeling like the reversed Queen of Wands, you know, not fully, not being taken seriously enough or respected enough or honored or cherished enough. But the divine masculine is is not seeing it that way is saying you're my only option and that's emphasized by this five of wands reversed um and i really only think about you i spend so much of my time thinking about you more than you know friends family colleagues whatever and i i feel like i am respecting you and honoring you and i do hold you in high vibration and light and um i completely see your value and worth but i am holding back Okay, let's see. Why is the Divine Masculine holding back? Oh, look, Seven of Wands. This is what the Feminine was wishing. No, it was the Seven of Swords reversed, but I read it as the Seven of Wands, as I was saying. This is what the Feminine is wishing the Masculine would stop doing. So there's an incredibly strong knowing, understanding, and connection between this Feminine and Masculine. So no wonder if one is watching the other, or they're both watching each other, it's like they know, they feel it. Um, okay. So why? Why being defensive? Why holding back? We've got the chariot. Cancer energy there. So some divine masculines could be saying, I have a particular um, goal I need to accomplish right now and I have to focus on myself. But it's not, you know, it's not just any old goal. The chariot's following the star. So this is a goal that's getting the divine masculine into alignment it's it's something it's on a soul level it's a soul calling so they really have to do it um so they could be saying i can't allow myself to get distracted by my passions my wants my desires right now okay what else please ten of swords in the upright um 
I also feel they could be going, some Divine Masculines could be going through a transition and ending um, some sort of personal inner transformation. I'm also looking at the skull here, and of course judgment is Scorpio energy about, you know, death, rebirth. Um, so it could be, I've really got to focus, I've got so much going on, and I have to be, I have to have on my practical hat right now. Um... Oh, that's what I was going to say. I feel that actually the divine masculine is showing up and feeling that the feminine is not giving them enough credit, that they're actually a bit further along than the feminine knows or is seeing or believes. Um, for example, when we, were, when we were looking at the divine feminine's experience and perspective, we had the Ten of Swords reversed. The divine masculine is saying, no, 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 it's upright. The ending is happening or has happened. Um, it just feels the masculine is trying to say there aren't as many delays as it might seem. I'm further along than you think. Yes, I am actually being defensive or blocking you out in some way, so I can't really expect you to know these things, but there's more change than you see. Six of Swords, yeah, making some transition. Also, I feel there's something going on for some for some twins here, specifically around vehicles, whether it's um, cars, bikes, um, vans. I don't know th those sorts of things. Um, because for me, the Six of Swords can literally be I'm packing up my car and driving off. But yes, the Divine Masculine is saying um, there's actually much more movement here than it seems. And, you know, if we look at this card, I'm seeing the stars in the sky. So the boat is moving at night unseen. Okay, now Judgment, going back to the beginning, Judgment reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, hearing about, you know, walking on broken glass. I feel that the Divine Masculine is always wondering... Is there a chance to reconnect with my Divine Feminine? Did I miss an opportunity? Did I throw an opportunity away? Um, and feeling nervous about finding out, basically. So let's see. And the reason I feel it's the masculine wondering if there's another opportunity with the feminine is because if, if it was the other way around and the feminine was wondering, oh, can I have another chance with my masculine? The masculine would feel more certain as to whether it was a yes or a no. There wouldn't be judgment reversed. There wouldn't be, you know, an indecision necessarily. See, look, page of swords reverse, fantasizing, wondering. This could be the checking in, the spying. Um, okay, what else, please? But, you know, even if they are watching the feminine, there's a feeling of I'm not really getting the information I need. I'm not getting the facts that I want to find out. I'm having to fill in a lot of blanks or imagine things. Oh, Eight of Pentacles may be watching the feminine while the feminine is at work. Thinking about the feminine while either one of them are at work or working on something. King of Cups reversed, and we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Yeah, okay, it feels to me like this Divine Masculine is really, really, really trying to find something out about the Divine Feminine. Maybe they even have something specific in mind that they're, they're trying to look for, some kind of clue to suggest they can have another go here. So what I will say is if you're watching this as a Divine Masculine and you are like seriously stalking in one way or another or researching your Divine Feminine, I think they know. I don't know if that changes what you're doing or how you feel about it. Um, okay. Temperance, yeah, I'm Sagittarius. Feels like there's a lot going on, a lot bubbling away beneath the surface for this divine masculine. I think they're making changes and transitions in their life in practical ways. The feminine doesn't know because they're keeping it um, pretty quiet here. I think the masculine is really observing the feminine. Um, if that's the case, I do think the feminine is pretty aware and might be feeling a bit uncomfortable, but also, you know, it could be as well that the feminine is watching the masculine and the masculine knows. Um, 
so there's, there's something about work. I'm not necessarily seeing there's specifically a work connection between this feminine and masculine. I think it's more like when the masculine is at work, maybe that's how they have seen the feminine in the past or they usually see them or that's when they feel they've got time and space to check in and see what the feminine is doing or they that's when they fantasize about the feminine um this feels this feels frustrating to be honest, I feel like I want more from this. And I think that's what this Divine Masculine is feeling. That yes, there are changes happening, but it's not enough. It's not, it's not, there's not enough change within this connection with the Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine wants more. More to happen within this connection, but doesn't really know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, if they should do it. And I think that's what all this observation is. And if it's not observation, if this, if, if you, if, Let's say you're the Divine Feminine watching this and you know your Divine Masculine can't stalk you online, for example, because you don't have an online presence or they can't follow you in person because they live in a different country. It's with the Page of Swords reversed, lots and lots of imagining, thinking, and that will intrude upon the Feminine's experience through, say, having dreams, feeling their emotions are affected and, and wondering where is it coming from, always having their Divine Masculine pop into their head. Um... But it's because it's like they're trying to find something out. What what is this divine masculine trying to find out specifically? Ten of Wands, but then we have the sun in the middle. Yeah, you know, and and we've got two sets of eyes, closed eyes and open eyes. It's like the masculine wants to know: is this really over? Is there a chance for a rebirth, even if it's been some time here? Um, sometimes I feel this. I sense that. Is that me seeing clearly? Is that me? Um, you know having just wishful thinking going on um i think just trying to see is there is there a chance there's such a strong energy of watching but it's interesting that well yes we have the page of swords we know that can be a card of watching spying researching but that's really it. It's, it's a strange... <laughs> Let me know if this resonates, please, because it's a strange thing. The the degree to which I feel there's this, I'm going to say, investigation going on with it, whoever is doing it is is so much stronger than maybe the evidence I'm seeing in the cards. And I think that's deliberate. It's like I'm trying to stay in the shadows I don't want it to be revealed. I'm trying to seem like I'm in this Four of Swords energy. I'm relaxing, I'm minding my own business, I'm doing nothing, but I'm actually gathering all sorts of information or trying to, but not really feeling I'm getting the information that I need. It's like yesterday. Yesterday I was bent over the bonnet of my car doing something and an Audi pulled up behind me across the road and reversed into a space so now they were facing me and I was thinking really you couldn't even have driven into the space so you weren't just staring at me because you know when you're bent over the bonnet of a car your bum's like right in the air basically and although I wasn't looking at them I knew they were there and it just <laughs> felt so uncomfortable um and that's almost what I, I I feel here it's like whoever is being watched might not be directly turning to face whoever is doing the watching but they're a hundred percent aware it's happening and it's pretty uncomfortable it's like i even if you were watching me from the side that's better than directly behind me when i'm bent over in this position um yeah i don't know i don't interesting maybe it's the feminine doing it to the masculine that's why it's coming up coming up in this side or you know if you're doing this in order to find masculine it's maybe like a bit of a heads up you might want to pull back a bit or change tactic or something okay let's get some guidance and advice for the masculine i mean i get why whoever's doing the watching is doing it but it's making the other person a bit uncomfortable and it seems to be frustrating the watcher because they're not finding out what they need to which is making them feel they can't get the answers around should they take action or not or what they should what should they do i think it's about taking a different approach maybe instead of looking outside and saying let me gather up all the information and then make make my decision it might be 
let me go within and figure out what I want to do and need to do for me and then do it regardless. Obviously, you know, you've got to act within reason based on your personal situation and, and guidance system and all of that. But maybe the answer is actually within, not outside. It's too many. We have abundance. Congratulations. It seems you're due for an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. This came out last week, I think. Um, feel like you don't deserve it. Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you're lactose intolerant. Well, you know, you can get whipped cream these days that's like free of dairy and, and all of that stuff. Um, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. And the reason I mention that is because I think, again, it's relevant. It's almost like looking for reasons to act or not act and you know it's almost like saying okay well I can't have the whipped cream this really sucks everyone else can have it I'm lactose intolerant whereas actually we're looking maybe we're in the supermarket we're looking in the wrong aisle we have to go in the aisle that's you know the aisle where it has all the free from stuff and you you get some whipped cream that's free of lactose um abundance it's so interesting the thing that the divine masculine it seems is feeling frustrated about doesn't need to be a frustration but we just need to approach it differently or look in a different place or um from a different angle at something okay so let's see what the masculine would say to the feminine Commitment, I want you to be a part of my future. We have absence, I feel like a part of me is missing without you and reciprocity, I want to have equal give and take. Interesting, I don't think the feminine knows how much the masculine also feels their absence because for the feminine we started with that five of pentacles. Um, the masculine's feeling it too, reciprocity, yeah. So the masculine wants more and it's frustrating but spirit is saying, you can have more, um, but you've got to change your tactics somehow. Um, don't be the person that pulls up behind the feminine, you know, while they're bent over and just sits there while they're working. <laughs> Metaphorically. Um, take a different approach. Um, if you really need to find out some information, just maybe, maybe try finding out in a different way. Maybe, as I said, it's not even about gathering information from outside of yourself at this point. It's about figuring out, you know, what's going on within and what action you want to take from within. What would equal give and take look like? How how would you start that off? You know, um, would it look like a message, a visit, whatever? Um, yeah. And too, there's, see, there's too much of a focus, commitment. I want you to be a part of my future, but I'm so focused on your absence and trying to find out what's going on while we're separate in the 3D, while I'm absent or you're absent. Maybe what we need to do is this. I really want commitment with you. I'm going to focus primarily on reciprocity and how we can have this equal give and take. Do you see what I mean? There's something about switching focus. Okay, so I will leave this reading here. Yet another surprising and very interesting Twin Flame check-in. So please let me know if this resonates, you know, whichever side, whether you're resonating is the masculine or the feminine. Um, I hope this has helped. I hope there's been something in here for you and I will see you again soon. Bye.